Hello, thanks for joining us today. In this video, we're going to look at how to create new drawings, including the cross section. It is worth noting that if a new drawing is needed, it is advisable to add it into the template project, so then it is available in all future projects based on this template. For this example, we will look at adding the new drawing into an existing project. To create a new drawing sheet, visit the output tab and then select the drawing sheet command. This will open the drawing sheet window where we can select the new option at the bottom to create a new sheet. This will open the project document information window where we must enter a file name and title. A new blank drawing will open. To add a title block, simply right click and select add drawing sheet and title block. In the drawing sheet properties window, there are two main options. The first is fixed sheet, which allows you to pick from predefined drawing sheets with predefined title blocks already added. These will either be taken from the custom folder if the users set the, their own drawing sheet templates or the standard ones available in the system folder. The second option is the parametric sheet option where you can define the overall sheet size by setting multiple portrait A4 sheets in both horizontal and vertical directions. There is then the option of adding the title block for these. For example, with fixed sheet, choose the select button and then select the fixed sheet to add. Once selected, the drawing will be attached to your mouse ready to place. The drawing will then be minimized whilst the cross section is created. To start, first add the cross section line. This has to be done in the 2D view. First, go to output and select define cross section view. Then choose your start and end point for your cross section line. Make sure to note the direction of the arrow as this shows the view direction. Once the line has been selected, choose the confirm option. Once completed, the select drawing generation model window will show. And here you can select between which model the cross section will be of. Generally, the elevations will be the architectural model and the frame is the framing model. Basically, this creates a separate model of each that is unique to the actual 3D model. For this example, frame.vxm will be chosen. Next, the depth of the section in millimeter is required. Alternatively, Zero could be used to have the section depth go on infinitely. Please be aware, this will increase processing time however. Next, a label for the floor plan marker is required, followed by the name of the section. With the cross section defined, go to the drawing section in the output tab. To generate the actual drawing, Go back into the previous menu and select Update Views. The Drawing Sheets window will display again. Here, select Update Models and Update Views. Select the view required and select OK. This process can take some time, but once it is completed, the new drawing will appear. It is advisable to enter dimensions here, and if it is required, you can also right click to add the height macro by the add height symbol option. To add the view to the drawing sheet, reopen the previously created drawing sheet and choose add drawing to sheet. Choose elevation selection and 3D view drawings. Select the cross section and then place this using the cursor. Utilizing the tools in the contextual toolbar to move and rescale as required. Thank you for joining us for our video today. Stay tuned for our next video 